What is up, everyone? Liz here with your weekly dose of NACT recap. Regular season of the NACT, that's done and dusted. Playoffs kicked off last weekend with four teams sending a clear message to the NACT community with their clean sweeps that Vegas were coming for you. Sadly, not much discussed between GG vs Legacy and BTK vs Bloodhounds except the fact that there are reasons why GG and BTK are crowd favorites and those reasons are going to become clearer as we enter into the later stages of the NACT Spring. Huge shout out though to NA's pride and joy Mobazane for clinching his first Savage and MVP of the week this season. Let's tune in on BTK's hype behind the scenes. Scored all. Nice. Uh, I mean, any excuse flickers? Me. Yeah, extra. Nice oh, what oh the sh holy f savage! F oh my what God, you're getting, you're getting you're getting that interview. You're getting that interview right there, savage. Milo, I got it. I got it. No flicker, no flicker. I got it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, America! <laughs> I'm doing the American thing right now. Too. In the clash of the top challengers, Area 77 brought the heat with Yureshi pulling out some beautiful flanks left and right. CC on his hands is simply built different, which makes me wonder, when is Yureshi dropping his CC guy? The other team that toppled BTK in regular season, aka the Night Horde, seemed a little thrown off by their roster adjustments. Despite adding in Assassin Master Zero, Nighthorn got struck hard by Divas Activity's botch infused the power train. Zero's mechanical prowess seems to make him the go-to sub for any pros, securing himself yet another last-minute playoff ticket like his Area 77 run in NACT Fall. But if we've learned anything this season, is that team synergy trumps raw skills just because of how close the NA Pro League is right now. On a side note, we can officially confirm that Zeke and Naisu are practically twins separated at birth. Just don't tell Naisu, because clearly Zeke got the better mustache gene. I hope you guys are as pumped as I am for playoffs week 2. Can A77 ride the momentum to avenge GG and turn an almost match win into an actual victory in the books? And what about the quote-unquote orphan match featuring fathers and sons? Will Joy Bosch complete the Fallout Brothers to take down a new BTK and Savage Bobs of Mobile Zane? Or will Yato be eating his words up after poking the sleeping bear who's either on his clippable stream hiatus or just simply matured from drama era? Zane has three heroes. I hope Zane can learn some assassin because, like, can't play anything else. Oh my goodness! I don't know. We shall find out this weekend. Stay tuned for our next NACD broadcast coming to you live Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Host Liz, signing off.